Dear student, myself K.M. Jha, lecturer VPMP Polytechnic Gandhi Nagar. I am here with my new module from the C++. The subject code is 3330702 and the unit name, this is unit 5 from, uh, unit 5 from the GTU diploma, pointers, virtual function and polymorphism. And the topic that I am trying to cover here is pointer to objects, this pointer, virtual function and many more. So after going through this module, you people might be uh, aware of uh, pointer to objects, applications of this pointer and we will also try to cover the virtual functions. Now we will see the proceedings, proceedings of this one. Just a moment. So we will go here in another slide. You can see here, this is your unit 5. We will try to cover all these things and now about uh, pointer to objects. So pointer to objects, it is a special kind of variable which stores the address of another variable. So pointer is also a variable but instead of value, it stores the address of another variable. We can also call the class members using the pointer. Yes. So inside the class, we are creating class. Class is again a user defined data type. You, you can call the class members using the pointer also and that we will see here and how we are going to do that for that we have to create a pointer of the class data type so the way you were creating pointer of the integer data type similarly here also we are creating pointer of the class data type okay so this is one of the example that we will see here this is class person this is these are two functions and how we are going to access the class members by using the pointer for this we are using this arrow sign by using this also you can access the function these are class members get data and put data are the class members so using object pointer this is your object pointer you are accessing the members inside the class so this is how you can access the class members using the pointer to objects okay so using object pointer you can access the members of a class so here it is written in the given example we can call the member function get data this one put data using the object name as well as using the object pointer you are aware of how to call the function using object name that we are doing always by creating this object you can also call the function or uh, methods but the another way is you can use the object pointer like this object pointer like this one and then you can access the method this one this is another method you are accessing the yes methods or the members inside the class so develop programs using pointer to objects by using that only we have created this example this pointer or this pointer is automatically passed to a function when it is called. This pointer is automatically passed to a function when it is called. So whenever there is a call by function, this pointer is automatically passed. Okay. So how we are using this? By using this and arrow mark and then we are applying this. So access data members with this pointer. So this is one of the example. This is the value 50 of this variable x. And by using this, you are trying to access this. So this pointer is used to represent an object that invokes a member function. Also for data, you can use this access data members with this pointer like this. You can access the data also. That is, this is data member. X is a data member. So you can access by using this, that also. So it is applicable for data member as well as you can call the member function also by using this but there should be a call from function so that's why it is written here uh, this pointer is automatically passed to a function when it is called so this is the application this is a keyword that is applicable to data member as well as to member function and for that you need to apply this arrow sign this pointer is used to return the object it points to like like this one you can return the object also by using this pointer and this is I am moving my mouse here. By using this, you can return it. Okay. This is the example. For current object, we are using this. This one. This. Now, pointer to derived class. Pointer to derived class. Here, you can see this is the example from the derived class. Here, 
the pointer here we have created a pointer dptr this is derived pointer so we have created a pointer of the class this one we have created already this one so this is pointer to derived class and this particular pointer is storing the address of this particular this one d so whatever the address of d it is going to be transferred to this pointer variable and then after you can call the function using pointer to objects this is pointer to objects and you are going to call the function show here this one you have called by using this this is pointer to objects and how you have uh, created this from this particular class der with this class we have already created this is pointer to object okay and by using this pointer to objects we are storing the address of the this particular d this is object of a derived class now about the virtual function virtual function so virtual function it is an ability to take more than one form polymorphism there are two types of polymorphism compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism so we are talking about why i talk about polymorphism as polymorphism it is connected with run time polymorphism and uh, means i mean to say ki run time polymorphism is nothing but it is a virtual function and that's why there is a need to discuss about polymorphism also that is ability to take more than one form there are two types of polymorphism compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism so what we are talking about it is virtual function that is run time polymorphism okay so the selection of appropriate function are called at run time so whenever we are talking about run time polymorphism it means we are talking about the virtual function okay but try to understand one thing this polymorphism is actually connected with run time polymorphism is connected with virtual function and polymorphism means ability to take more than one form virtual function when we use the same function name in both the base and derived classes the function in base class is declared as virtual using the keyword virtual preceding its normal declaration so uh, whenever we are using uh, same function name in both super classes as well as in the child class that is sub class the function which is declared in the base class is declared with the virtual keyword that is mandatory using the keyword virtual preceding it preceding its normal declaration uh, means the way you are declare, dec uh, declaring for other normal functions similarly here also you have to declare the function but it should be preceded with the virtual keyword okay this is example that uh, you can see here it is from the virtual function so here we have created you can see this is this show at a glance you can identify as i said virtual function is a function that you can declared in more than one places i um, mean super class as well as in the child class so show it is a function which is declared in the super class as well as in the here in the this one in the second class that you have created from the base class so show is the function it is created in the super class base as well as in the child class de derived one so when it is in the super class we applied the keyword virtual here that you can see it is highlighted okay so the same function is here and here both the places and here this is how you can use this here it is also applicable you can see over here the same function is applied here and here this is derived to so but we will have to represent it in the main particular super class as a virtual keyword okay and what we are actually trying to do here we are trying to create here a pointer to object this is b pointer that we have created from the class base okay this is created from the class base and this is how the things have been happening here by using this you can call the function when bptr bptr try to understand here if choice is equal to 1 so bptr is here new derived one means this particular pointer points to as we are using the concept in new here it means the new object is created and the address is transferred to bptr so the object is created from the derived one class this one derived one class here the spelling mistake is there it should be small letter or otherwise it should be in a capital letter so the new object is created here and the address is transferred to bptr and 
if the choice is equal to 1 it is going to show the function from the first one and if the choice is equal to 2 then bptr would be having the address of the class from the derived 2 the object from the derived 2 would, uh, will transfer the address to bptr and accordingly the bptr will call the function show from the second class so bptr is this is your uh, pointer which stores the address of variable here it stores the address of this variable which belongs to the derived to here it stores the address of the uh, variable which belongs to the class derived one and accordingly it will call the function okay so this is how you can use multiple function with the same name okay and according to behavior it is going to be changed and now about the pure virtual function pure virtual function in the virtual function the function is declared as virtual inside the base class and redefine it in the derived classes that we have seen the function inside the base class is used for performing any task yeah that we are doing it only serves as a placeholder it is also called as do nothing function so when we are talking about the pure virtual function you have to define that using this particular syntax virtual void show it is equal to zero so a pure virtual function is a function declared in a base class that has no definition relative to the base class so whenever we are trying to declare this it means if you are trying to declare a pure virtual function it means there there has no definition there has no definition relative to the base class you can see over here it is one of the example this is virtual void show with no body body is not associated here we have declared it this way it is pure virtual function okay here it is written there has no definition here there is no definition you can see although it is a function but it is only declared it is only declared not defined this is pointer to virtual function it is uh, again virtual is uh, associated with the same function uh, show is here and here in the super class as well as in the child class you can see here so this is pointer to virtual function why so we have created here the pointer bptr from the base class okay and uh, once it is created the address from the this bp it is this particular object is from the base class so address is transferred from the base class and accordingly it will call the function show and here you can see this dv it is a object from the derived class okay so it will here the address is going to be changed to the bptr it should be in the small letter b should be in a small letter okay so here the address is transferred from the yes from the second class that is the object is dv here so uh, address from the second uh, class is going to be transferred second class object okay second class object is transferred here and accordingly it will call the function show so uh, in one line i just want to uh, tell you ki virtual is the keyword that we are uh, applying to the super uh, class uh, function and not in the base class function uh, uh, not in the child class function it is mandatory to use that here only and you can use the uh, point, uh, pointer to object once you are creating pointer to object you can call the methods or uh, members inside the class by using that pointer to object according to that the address is going to be transferred you can see here i am highlighting this here the first class that is base class address is transferred here the second class address is transferred and accordingly the show functions are going to be called you can see over here thank you and uh, keep visiting the keep visiting the site for next consecutive video from the c++ i hope it is uh, helpful to all of you and if there is any feedback like that and if it is uh, required by you then just uh, let me know thank you again.